Okay, this is the second section um, on uh, the year two book, pure year two book, uh, chapter seven, which is trigonometry and modeling. And we're just going to be using the addition angle formula. So we've already proved um, that they're true. Uh, we've already done some simple application where we've proved um, some identities. Uh, now we're going to be using these to help us solve some some uh, simple problems okay so using the formula for sine a minus b showed that sine 15 is root 6 minus root 2 over 4 now the trick to doing this type of question it says sine 15 and i've got sine a minus b here and i want a minus b to be 15 degrees so i want to choose two angles where if I do one minus the other, I get 15. And there's no point picking things like 185 and doing 100 minus 85. We want to pick angles that we know the exact values of. So I'm talking about things like um, sine zero. We know the exact value of sine zero. It may not be useful in this question, but the sine of zero is going to be zero. Sine of 30, sine 45, sine 60, sine 90. So we should know the exact values of these. So sine 30, we should know is a half. Sine 45 is 1 over root 2, or uh, root 2 over 2, it's the same thing. Sine 60 is root 3 over 2, and sine 90 is 1. So we want to pick two of those angles where they've got a difference of 15. Now, um, I could do 60 and 45 and do sine 60 minus 45 or I could even do sine 45 minus 30 so I can choose either of those two because they've both got a difference of 15 I tell you what let's do let's make angle a um, Let's do 45 and 30 because it got half. It's a little bit easier. So we'll make angle A 45 degrees. And we'll make angle B 30 degrees. So if I'm doing the sine of 45 minus 30, well, that is the sine of 15. But here on this side, I'm going to use that addition formula. So this will become the sine of sine of a times the cos of b. So a and b here minus the cos of a um, times by the sine of b which is 30. I was going to write B down, but I'm going to write 30. 30. Right. So now I can um, replace those with their exact values. Now, I've got the values of sine here. Cos just goes the other way. So this will be cos um, 0 degrees. This will be cos of 30 cos 45 cos 60 and this will be cos 90 okay so it just goes like the reverse way so cos 45 i can replace with 1 over root 2 cos 30 replace with root 3 over 2 minus cos 45 
1 over root 2 times by sine 30, which is a half. So if we work that out, I'll get root 3 over 2 root 2 minus uh, 1 over 2 root 2. You'll notice the denominators are the same, so these can go together to give me root 3 minus 1 over 2 root 2. You'll notice the answer doesn't have a third in the denominator, so we're going to times the top and the bottom by root 2, and if we do that, we'll get uh, root 3 times by root 2 minus 1 times root 2 over 2 times root 2 times by root 2 and you can see what happens is you get root 6 minus root 2 over well, that becomes 4 so we've done that one so knowing these exact values is is often helpful and also remembering pick two angles from here if you get a question like this don't pick two random ones so don't pick a as to be a you know, 1,015 and B to be a 1,000. Yeah, that does make, when you subtract from one from the other, yeah, that does make 15, but, you know, not going to help. Okay, so we've got a new improved method for working out questions like this. And remember, we've gone through it before. We need to do two things. We need to work out the size of the angle. And we're going to do that by using Pythagoras. Whoops, not very good right angle triangle. Let's try again. And we're going to work out the sine of the angle by using a cast diagram. So let's do that. We've got two angles. We've got an angle A and we've got its size. We've got an angle B and we've got its size. So let's work out Let's get our values right. So let's start with angle A. So I'm going to call that angle A. Uh, the lengths of the sides um, are 3 for the opposite, 5 for the hypotenuse. So this has got to be 4. Using a cast diagram, it tells us the angle is between 180 and 270. So I'm going to find it here on the cast diagram. So that tells me that sine is going to be negative, cos is going to be negative, and tan is going to be positive. And actually I could probably work out now what tan A, sine A, well we've got sine already, so sine A is negative three fifths cos a from the diagram is going to be well i can see it's four fifths and it's going to be negative four fifths and tan a it's going to be positive and it's going to be positive opposite over adjacent three quarters okay and we'll do the same for angle b and this time it's cos b so the adjacent is 12 hypotenuse 13 so this is fine we'll use our cast diagram c a s t the angle is obtuse so it's up here so that tells me that um sine is positive cos is going to be negative and tan is going to be negative so let's work out now the values of sine a or sorry sine b so sine b it's going to be positive and it's going to be positive 5 over 13 opposite over hypotenuse cos b well we already know that it's negative and it's negative 12 over 13. And then tan B is going to be negative and it's going to be negative opposite over adjacent. So negative 5 over 12. So we've now got everything we need.
to answer this question. Right, so part A says, can you work out cos A minus B? The expansion for that is cos A cos B um, plus sine A sine B. Now all we need to do is to get those values from down the bottom. Cos A is negative four fifths. Cos B is negative 12 over 13. Sine A is negative 3 fifths. Sine B is 5 over 13. Okay, that will give us 48 over 65 minus 15 over 65, leaving us with 33 over 65. That one's done. Part B, tan A plus B. Now the expansion for that is tan A plus tan B over 1 minus tan A times by tan B. Okay, again, just put the numbers in. Tan A is 3 quarters. Tan B is negative 5 over 12. over 1 minus tan A 3 quarters times by negative 5 over 12. Right, if we work that out, so 3 quarters, which is like 9 over 12, take away 5 over 12, leaves me with 4 over 12, which is uh, a third, divided by and then I've got 3 quarters times 5 over 12. So that's going to be 1 um, plus, because it's, I'm going to end up with a minus 15 over 48. So let's work that out. So 1 third divided by 1 plus 15 over 48. And I get 16 over 63 as my answer. And then for part C, now it says cosec um, A minus B, which is basically 1 over sine a minus b which is going to be 1 over uh, sine a cos b minus let's get this out of the way um, cos a sine b okay which will be 1 over sine a negative 3 fifths times by cos b which is negative 12 over 13 minus uh, cos a which is negative 4 fifths times by uh, sine b which is 5 over 13. Okay I'm going to be extremely lazy and work that out on my calculator. So 1 divided by negative three-fifths times by negative 12 over 13 I'll stick that in brackets so my calculator doesn't get confused and then I'm going to subtract uh, negative four fifths times by five over thirteen, and we get sixty five over fifty six. Sixty five over 
56. Here we go, done. Right, you should now be in a position where you can do exercise 7b on pages 172 to 173.